We can all remember the leak that we saw exactly two months ago, before our first trailer was released, and since then not many people have spoken about it. That TikTok guy said that we will have three major big cities and four sub-cities, which is the huge map, which we already expect. So let's talk more on this, cause honestly it looks like it is going to be like his set. Subscribe and Lucia will become your girlfriend when GT6 is out in 2025. Thanks and let's start. Jason and Lucia drawn as a cartoon. I wonder if Steven OGG likes this cartoon. So basically we could see this screenshot over here of uh, Jason and Lucia on the cartoon and I would say it looks pretty amazing. And I would like more such arts about Jason and Lucia while well, we are still waiting in the game. I would like to see even more and more coming in. Next up, we just have to wait until February 8th. So if we look at this photo as well, trailer to Thursday, March 7th, 9 a.m. ET. Uh, it's not confirmed, by the way. And uh, to be uh, like the, uh, to have a confirmed date about the trailer number two, we still have to wait until February 8th for any information because the fiscal year will end on February 8th, and we'll have more updates and news uh, for an upcoming trailer, maybe a gameplay, and maybe even more details on the game as other leaks, beta versions, and other stuff. So next up, changes in air travel in GTA 6 and GTA 6 Online. So in GT5 and online, air travel kinda sucked, it wasn't that much faster than just driving especially when you consider the time it takes to go to the place where you can find spawn air vehicles. I definitely hope they do a big overhaul in GT6, first of all planes and alleys need to be faster, especially planes, it's even more important when the map is so much bigger. And the spawn points for aircraft are horrible, you had to either go to an airport that, uh, airport that are at the really ODD places on the map or go to a very specific locations to spawn them in. Now I get why you can't do this with small planes, but it creates a perfect reason to use helicopters. Planes are really fast, but helicopters can spawn in almost everywhere. I really believe they have done an overall to aircraft already, because just look at how many aircraft are in the trailer. Also, so almost two months on since this TikTok leaker said this, what do we uh, actually think about it? About twice the size of Los Santos, all I can say is the map leak is real, and is there any other big cities class? There will be three major cities and four sub-cities with smaller areas surrounding, with a large lake around the middle of the map. I haven't seen this spoken about much in the last months, and in my honest opinion, this kid has some credibility considering their skyline leak. That is in itself warrants us to at least take what they are saying as somewhat plausible even if we think Wise City is the only major city based on a lack of information. Based on the mapping project and prediction in the Discord, it's looking like Port Galhorn could be the southern part of the wrap around the type city and around uh, the coast and body of water cut in it. Obviously, we only know what we know from the leaks and the trailer shots, which is very limited compared to what we don't know, so we can only assume so, so much. But something tells me this leaker could be onto something we don't know. I can honestly see this being true for a few reasons. First one, obviously this kid had or has access to someone who works at Rockstar one way or another, rather it's family or family friends, etc. So I'm sure he had heard a few tidbits here and there naturally. What he said isn't really outstanding and is a grounded response. It's not very hard to believe and at a very moment when he said this has had a legit leak of footage to go with it. Why would he lie at that point? And finally, if you look at the mapping project they have going on, you can clearly see that Y City will be major majority of the middle to low right hand side of the map as city number one. Port Galhorn seems to be focused on the left middle to low end of the map. A city number two, which has been confirmed to be bigger than this, uh, than if we saw it, and then there's the entire north end of the map, which hasn't been seen, but you would have to think there is another city up there, as, uh, a, 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 as it actually would only make sense. And the other sub cities and towns would build would be built in a place and placed around those three main locations to create more landmass in between them. So 
when you think about it, it is a high chance he was telling the truth and I don't feel that's too far-fetched for this game in particular. He also said that 70% buildings would be enterable and it does sound far-fetched, but there is uh, this Unreal Engine creator who took the map of the Matrix demo project and employed a procedural method to make every freaking building into enterable. And the way the procedural method works is that the rooms from far are kind of like the parallax images we see in Spider-Man, but when you enter a particular room it procedurally loads it which means it follows a set of procedures to populate the room. And for example, the room can be any size obviously, the floor should have a mat, they should have be a TV on a particular wall, a table and books should be placed on it, etc. With this way adding more types of mats, books, tables, and PCs, etc., every room would be enterable even though while you are outside they appear as mere boxes. But I still I don't think we shouldn't get our hopes up unless we get confirmation from Rockstar, as it is pretty experimental currently, but I, I am sure we we might get it in the future or maybe even a GTA 6. Yeah, have No Man's Sky and Elite Dangerous did this with trillions of planets a decade ago. It's not crazy to think that Rockstar might have figured out a way to do it with uh, ancillary buildings and rooms in a way that feels real in the time since. Yeah, this is exactly how I would have imagined it. The devs can make some 100 different assets or so of a 30 interiors and when you enter the building it just generates the location on the spot and teleports you in a similarly to GTA Online apartments. Also, next up we go with is that true? There's also a patent for randomly generated interiors that Rockstar patent back in 2017 would be used for apartments, models, etc. I was watching a video on YouTube about the new animations AI system Rockstar is going to use and I saw this comment on the video, if true that would be really amazing. I'm more interested in the new AI animation system you mentioned. Back when GTA 4 was announced, I enjoyed watching all these safe for year ragdoll sketch videos that popped up around the time. So that's my comment, I'm pretty sure in the apartment clip from the leaks demonstrates this patent, one line of code in the clip says model set North Miami General Street low end. How it works? Presuming the patent is implemented in the game, it is it, is, it randomly includes ob objects, furniture and other assets based on the preset. So for example, for a high-end apartment in-game, it would include randomly assigned expensive furniture, appliances and technology in the apartment interior from a preset. And in the clip I noted above, it seems uh, the apartment fits the description of it being low end, why is it actually being messy and disorganized, etc. I'm bad at explaining it, but you would have to read it to understand it as well. Next up, Cowboy Jason. And I'm not sure if anyone has talked about this, but Jason have, uh, having a redneck background could be the perfect tie in to carry over the Red Redemption 2 mechanics to GTA. So if Jason's background is that he grew up in the sticks, hunting, skinning, riding, etc., it could easily explain him being able to take advantage of the mechanics that we see in Red Dead such as tracking and skinning animals, riding horses, and more. Maybe Lucy is more involved with the more urban aspects of the Lenny's life, like a car meets, social media, so the nightlife gangs, robberies, and etc. And we can basically see it in the trailer as well, how chill and how old Jason looks like and how modern Lucia is. So, that's kind of all the information we have on this one. If you want to check out for more updates, don't forget to check out the next video. See you in the next one and peace.